Outdoor Expo. This is our little setup that we've got going on here. It's a very nice display here. The shows are awesome. We're going to go look around and show you what's going on. So let's go have a look. So we're the New Mexico Council of Outfitters and Guides. We represent the hunting and fishing industry both. Uh, we represent the outfitted segment of the hunting and fishing industry. So people who contract with an outfitter uh, for their hunting or fishing experience, that's who we represent. We work in the legislature uh, to make sure that the industry stays protected. And that's basically what we do. She is a female. She's about three years old. You can tell she's a female because if you see the uh, grayish blue on the top of her head there, uh, a male would have that on his wings. And also, uh, she's a great deal bigger than a male kestrel usually is. Um, the reason we have her is because she has a broken humerus on her left wing. So she is not releasable. Kestrels are really amazing. They're like basically hunting machines. Um, she's the smallest breed of falcon. You can tell she's a falcon because of the high profile. You see how she's watching me so carefully with my hand? She's a natural born hunter. Her eyes have a lot more cones in them than we do, so she can see. Somebody was selling them as bait and come in. They get quite a lot larger. They'll get up to 24, 26 inch long fish. They are a good sport fish. Don't know a lot about the quality of meat and how they taste. I've heard different things. They're in there with a lot of these other fish. We've got blue catfish here, channel catfish. We don't have any flathead catfish. Flathead population in, in the Middle Rio Grande River seems to be declining. 
We electrofished all of these fish in, in a couple of days using the boat. We bring those fish in for this type of display. We can use the electricity to shock the fish and bring them to these things and then we take them back to the lake. The electricity doesn't damage the fish in any way. We can bring them up here safely, treat them well while they're here, take them back, put them back in the lake on Sunday. We've got several different species. We've got long-eared sunfish, green sunfish, and bluegill. And then we've got some different bass, or black bass. We've got pretty decent small mouth there. We've also got large mouth. We do have white bass, which is a template bass. They're not in the same family as the black bass do. We've got one crappie, and we've got several native fish. And one of the things we talked about that's interesting there is the difference in our native buffalo and river carp suckers versus carp. Common carp are everywhere. You see them in every reservoir and every river. They're a non-native fish that a lot of people think are just a trash fish. And most people that come to this thing don't know the difference between our native smallmouth buffalo and the non-native carp. The carp are easy to distinguish because they've got barbers like a catfish under their chin, whereas the river carp sucker and the smallmouth buffalo are both barbless. They have no barbels underneath their chin. The other fish that we do have no fish that we didn't bring, there's a, a lot of white bass. We've got a few small ones. The large ones don't last well in this sort of water temperature. But this grass gets sunlight on it, it heats up, so we don't usually bring those. We don't bring striped bass because they tend to bang into the glass a lot. They're very aggressive fish, and we don't like to put them in there because they do harm themselves. And last year we brought in a blue catfish that was 44 pounds. The problem we had with him is we didn't have any sunfish the next day. He tended to eat everything and then he just laid in the bottom of the pond and died down to fish. So that's pretty much everything that we've got in here. It's a nice display. Pretty much shows all the different species that we have in, in Elephant View, minus the ones that we don't bring for their safety or ours. Hi, and welcome to the 2014 New Mexico Albuquerque Expo. My name is Tony. I'm a firearms instructor for Caliber Shooting Range. Isabel is giving me an interview because she is so, so nice and uh, is pushing the tickets for the GoPro pretty hard. And I've bought a few because of it. Uh, we are a caliber shooting range. We teach everything from basic handgun firearm safety all the way up to advanced tactics and concealed carry. And it is a pleasure to be uh, involved with the New Mexico Expo. And uh, it's a pleasure to share the expo with vendors like Muddy River Catfishing. Because hey, you gotta go out there and you gotta fish.
sushi and rice and cheese. All right, you guys caught one. Careful, careful, careful. Here, let me hold it. Let me see you guys. Show me your fish. All right. Good job, Alex. <laughs> Hi, my name is James Dominguez. I'm with the New Mexico Game and Fish Department. We're teaching about aquatic invasive species. New Mexico does not have zebra quagga mussels, so we're trying to keep them out. The best thing you can do as a boat owner is to clean, drain, and dry your boat. You can clean all the mud and plants off, drain all the water, and that includes the bilge lines and all compartments, and then dry it out when you get home. Let it sit in the sun for an extra half hour a day. You're going to stop the spread of uh, non-native species, especially zebra. Do your best to do that and protect your next few waters. And he is a um, rescue, and he got hurt on a utility pole. He was electrocuted, and so he was injured enough that he couldn't go back into the wild. Because if we can, we always try to rehab them so they can go into the wild. Since he couldn't get into the wild, he's at the he's part of the wildlife uh, rescue rehabilitation program. Wildlife Rescue Education Program. And so he is, rolls around and he teaches people about mouse. He's pretty cool. You can't pet him. He's All the way to the top, Isabel, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. All right, Isabel. She's almost there, Dada. You're right there. All right, good job. All right, guys, so I just wanted to share with you our little adventure out here at the 
New Mexico Outdoor Expo in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It was a great time. We had so much fun. There's so much to do out here. Um, if you're ever in the area when the expo is going on, I highly recommend you coming out. It is a little drive. It's a little drive away from from Albuquerque. Not too far out. It's headed towards Gallup, but uh, I'd say maybe 15, 15 minutes out of town. But it's well worth it because everything's free. It's all hosted by the Department of Game and Fish. Uh, you come out here, the rounds are free to shoot. Um, rock climb, everything's free out here. Um, of course, the food and beverages and stuff like that you have to pay for and whatever the vendors are selling. But anything that's hosted by the Game and Fish, it's all provided for you. So, once again, thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.